Buongiorno, dottore Marino. You are the vice president of FIAMO, the Italian Association of uh, Homeopathic Medical Doctors. This September, the 74th International Legal Congress takes place in Italy and you are inviting all homeopathic doctors from all over the world to the end, to the beautiful and famous Costa Malfetana, which everybody has already seen in movies. It's a pleasure for me to talk with you now in Skype about this event because Italian hospitality is warmly and generous. Please tell me, why did you choose Sorrent as a location? Thank you, Heidi. It's a pleasure for me uh, to reply to your questions. So, we, uh, we choose Sorrento for two main reasons. First of all, a symbolic reason, because uh, uh, Sorrento um, means uh, Naples, Napoli. Uh, it's very close to Naples. So, uh, Naples was one of the cradles of homeopathy in uh, Europe. Uh, as soon as uh, um, homeopathy arrived to Naples, uh, the, the doctors from uh, the court uh, fell in love with this uh, new medical system. And uh, uh, many, many doctors from all over Europe uh, arrived to Naples in order to, to learn this, uh, this new uh, methodology. And they uh, took back uh, homeopathy uh, into their own countries, from Naples. In fact, uh, homeopathy uh, was spread uh, in, um, in France, in Spain, uh, in England, in Brazil, Egypt, Sudan, and in, in the colonies of these countries. So in some way, Sorrento means a symbolic coming back home for homeopathy. And another reason is a, a typical uh, Italian reason because Sorrento is one of the most amazing locations in the world. It's, it's blessed and kissed by sun, by mountains, by, by seaside, and every single year at least one million tourists arrive to Sorrento to enjoy this place. So we, uh, we can't wait to, uh, to welcome uh, our colleagues from all over the world in order to offer our typical Italian hospitality. Thank you. Thank you, Francesco. So please tell me, uh, what are the main topics of this Congress and who are the key speakers? Well, um, we, we chose as a, as, a, as a title for uh, this Congress, uh, the medicine of the future from the ancient heart, meaning similarity, which is uh, the pillar uh, of homeopathy. Uh, and uh, similarity is uh, an ancient paradigm because um, it was the paradigm of the most uh, ancient medical systems, uh, which is uh, rediscovered uh, in the last decades by modern medicines. Uh, in fact, uh, many, many scientists, researchers, and clinicians uh, um, are getting crazy in order to understand uh, the way homeopathy works. And in fact, it works. And uh, we are uh, getting very close to the real, uh, the true um, mechanism of action of homeopathy, uh, similarity, I mean. And that's why we want to uh, re-examine and re-evaluate similarity. Uh, so, in some way, it's a, a state of the art of similarity uh, uh, facing uh, the, the modern medicine. Uh, that's why uh, homeopathy is the real uh, precision medicine, the real complexity medicine the medicine of the future, but from the ancient heart. And the topics, uh, in fact, uh, this is a, a typical, uh, this is our brochure uh, from um, our Congress, and uh, uh, our topics uh, are the culture background, meaning uh, the roots of homeopathy, epistemology, uh, physics, uh, uh, history, philosophy. We uh, will have an extraordinary, um, scientists to open up the Congress, uh, Fritio of Capra, hmm? coming from uh, uh, Berkeley, uh, San Francisco. And uh, uh, we discuss about uh, preclinical research, basic research, and in fact, we have uh, uh, great scientists from Italy. This is amazing. Capra is amazing. Exactly. 
exactly, exactly. And he's coming for free because he's a friend of homeopathy. No? He discovered homeopathy just right in Italy because we invited him in 2000, uh, 2010 uh, for uh, giving some lectures and he discovered uh, his point of view was so close to homeopathy uh, he uh, started uh, started to start homeopathy and fell in love with the, this methodology. That's why that's why he's coming uh, for free as a friend of homeopathy. And Beautiful. And who else is coming, Francesco? Uh, well, um, we have, uh, uh, I said, uh, uh, an excellent uh, scientist from Italy about uh, uh, basic and preclinical research, such as Professoressa Lucetta Betti. Uh, which, uh, who is very famous for uh, her studies about uh, agro-homeopathy. And uh, um, Professor Bellavite, Paolo Bellavite, who uh, published uh, hundreds of works about uh, homeopathy. And Professor Vittorio Lia uh, from University of Naples. Uh, he's a, a, a retired professor of chemistry. And uh, um, his works uh, demonstrated uh, homeopathy uh, can um, transform uh, the uh, chemical physical properties of water. And uh, um, for example, we have also um, Professor Mathisen from, uh, from Germany, uh, who studies, um, whose systematic review uh, allowed it to implement, re implement homeopathy into Switzerland. Uh, after uh, the terrible uh, meta analysis uh, from uh -huh. Lancet. And uh, uh, Dr. Farouk Master, another great clinician from, from India, uh, Pro uh, Dr. Roberto Petrucci, another glory from Italy, very famous uh, worldwide. And uh, uh, Richard Roberts and Alex Tournier from uh, uh, Homeopathic Research Institute, uh, who are uh, managing uh, all this. Uh, of that uh, uh, terrible, terrible um, uh, report uh, from Australia, uh, misleading, really, uh, really corrupted, uh, as well as uh, um, uh, Dr. Robert Van Hasselen, uh, who's uh, given some lectures about uh, the methodology of case reports, because we homeopaths need to, uh, to learn the way, the proper way, to, uh, to write a case report in order to, to face uh, and to interface with the uh, conventional medicine. And uh, Dr. Van Wassenhoven, uh, who conducted a, a very interesting um, study about uh, nanomolecules in three European universities, such as uh, Professor Bellare from India. So we are very, very close to understand uh, the, the real, the true mechanism of action of homeopathy. So this is uh, in some way uh, a program of the Congress. And uh, uh, another, another uh, very particular, uh, interesting particular idea. Uh, for um, the opening ceremony, we will offer a homeopathic concert. Meaning, meaning uh, all the great musicians from the past who were treated and cured by homeopathy, such as uh, Chopin, uh, Beethoven, uh, Schumann, Paganini, uh, Cole Porter, Gershwin, Ravel, and so on. We offer um, some uh, witnesses from their um, experience with homeopathy and uh, soon after, uh, some of their masterpieces. So we can't wait. Uh, we are really excited uh, to, to welcome our friends, our colleagues from all over the world, because we want to share all these uh, family jewels with all of them. And you can mention that it's also a little bit vacation because it's on the seaside, it's a beautiful weather, it's almost summer, still in, in September in the Costa Malfitana and you have Capri and Amalfi and all these beautiful towns which uh, people could use for making vacation before and afterwards. This is Back. really something very special. You Who bet. experienced this yeah. life will always come back. <laughs> yeah, not by chance we choose Sorrento because Sorrento is a fantastic place. Uh, you can have a, a, 
an unforgettable uh, holiday. Um, uh, you can visit uh, all those uh, surrounding places, uh, uh, such as uh, uh, Positano, uh, such as uh, Amalfi, the Amalfi Coast, uh, the islands, uh, Capri, Istia. Uh, you can go to Pompeii and Herculano for archaeology lovers. And you know, uh, Heidi, um, one of the first uh, Italian translators uh, of uh, Hahnemann's uh, works was Bernardo Coranta, an archaeologist uh, who uh, discovered uh, Pompeii, Pompeii ruins. So there is a, a link between homeopathy and uh, archaeology and uh, in Naples. And also in Rome, in Rome, one hour by train from uh, uh, Naples, you can visit the Museum of History of Homeopathy in the beautiful Piazza Navona. From all over the world, people are coming over to visit this place because you can you can see you can touch uh, the real manuscript from Hahnemann uh, from uh, early uh, 19th century. So uh, we have a, a lot of stuff to do to to show uh, to share and uh, and also great cooking. Great cooking. Yes, to celebrate, to eat. Yes, this exactly. is Italy also. <laughs> exactly. Sorrento will, will be a feast, an orgy of music, culture, food, and homeopathy. Dear Francesco, I hope that a lot of people get inspired of your words. You told me and inspired about our interview. I hope it's, um, it will be, you know, arrive a lot of countries. And I really wish you by heart that a lot of people will come to Sorrent and will never forget this meeting. And you can be really proud to have at least two so prominent key speakers, which are known all over the borders with Massimo Mangialavori and Lucetta Betti. And their contribution to homeopathic medicine is really noteworthy. So I hope that this event gets really a wonderful thing for you and nobody will forget it. Yeah. Thank you for the interview and good luck and we see us in Sorrent in September. Bye bye Francesco. Bye bye. Auf Wiedersehen, Auf Wiedersehen uh, Heidi. Bye. <laughs>